I am sick. I have been sick for like weeks. Uh, at this point, probably like two. Before that, I had midterms. Uh, life decided to come out and dropkick me. I promise. Uh, I have a video about Momo that I recorded on one of the rare days in which I was not sick and dying and dying and sick. But uh, <coughs> Momo, Momo is coming soon, I promise. But uh, yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. My voice is dead. I can barely go. 10 seconds without coughing and wishing I was dead too. But, uh, in my, in my tired stupor, in my death and dying, uh, I remembered, I remembered something from my senior year of high school, which is now a handful of years in my, in my past. But I remembered an old memory of, uh, this wonderful, wonderful little Little, little RPG maker gem called Endroll. Now, <coughs> Endroll. Endroll is a great game. Endroll is... It uh, stands out from, I think, a lot of the... A lot of its ilk in the RPG maker scene. It's very anime. Super anime. Oh my gosh, is this game anime. But in a good way. In that uh, it has filled with character. When you look at a lot of the RPG Maker games, right, you look at your Eves, you look at your Mad Fathers, their level of horror varies, but it varies in tandem with the level of character. You get something like The Witch's House, which doesn't really have character. It's got like a character. It's got two. Kinda. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and you look at uh, Mad Father. Mad Father's got some characters. Mad Father is fine. Uh, I haven't played it in like eight years or something <laughs> but it was pretty fine <laughs> and then you have eeb eeb is probably my favorite not end roll rpg maker game in that eeb has now i'm i'm a person who i think if you just stop and look at my channel for more than four seconds uh you'll realize that i like analysis and i like characters i am a big character driven narrative boy as it were and eeb scratches that itch good again i haven't played eeb in like six or eight years or something like that but eeb is fantastic uh it's three characters are solid enough the writing i think was pretty janky even when i was a dumb kid and played it i can't really imagine going back to it and having the same sort of awe at the cast but you know it really did a good job at building a world and Gary and Eve and the yellow girl, Mary, I don't know, uh, the yellow girl, uh, you know, they did a good job at hooking you in. The endings and how they relate to the characters were great. I loved how, I loved how the characters were able to have multiple sides to them. And this is the best part about Endril, is there are many characters in Endril, all of which are great. Endroll is filled with a colorful cast of good characters who each are, like I said, very anime. You know, they all have these very slottable personalities, right? But it's how it plays with the audience's expectations, right, of uh, these characters. It's how it builds the world around them that got <laughs> damn my furnace. Let me out. Help, let me out. But... Uh, yeah, it's how it builds these characters. <laughs> That's super great. You see, the thing about Endroll, and I'm going to spoil all of Endroll here because I don't care. I, it's 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 uh, December 1st today. Um, no, it isn't. It is Halloween. Everyone get ready to be scared. It's Endroll time. So the core conceit of Endroll is that you're a boy named Russell. Uh, you start off in like this little, little sort of uh, like looks like a hospital room. There isn't much anything there. I'm. Uh, I should preface that I am speaking entirely off of like three or four year old memories. Uh, duh, duh, I don't care. <gasps> but you start off in this hospital room, right? And for you, you take a needle and you stick it in your arm. Then you wake up and you're in this fantasy town. It's all crazy. It's all all this crazy stuff going on. And you meet all these people in town, and they're all colorful and they all got fun and they're all anime. But uh, it's an RPG maker game, 
and it's scary <coughs> and you know that so you know something is probably going to happen and sure enough something happens it gets sl slowly <coughs> revealed throughout the course of Enderal that you are in fact a bit of a sociopath that the main character you're playing russell has in fact either directly killed or indirectly played a major part in the death uh, of every single person that you're seeing here the drug you're taking is sort of putting you into this dream state in which you are faced with yourself the but the thing i like about end roll the thing that i like about it more than uh say the witch's house which has a similar sort of similar sort of uh, twist with its protagonist come the end except end roll it becomes very clear uh it becomes clear that russell is kind of monster much earlier than in the witch's house but where the witch's house it is just oh uh the witch <laughs> is bad they're evil you lose russell is sort of a russell displays traits of being very sociopathic but it's not necessarily at all the case that he was born that way you learn that russell has suffered tremendously that he had no happiness he was afforded none of that and no, no, nothing like that at all in his life which led him to interacting with all of these people and with all of these people uh, losing their life because of him and this going through going through the game you go the game is sort of separated by character arc and you go through each character and you find out well how did russell destroy their life <laughs> Uh, what impact did they have on Russell? And with each character you meet and each sort of revelation that you have, uh, this world becomes darker and darker. The town you start in starts like a very happy sort of fantasy, go happy-go-lucky town. But dungeons can be very scary, very spooky, much more like its ilk. And yeah, as the game progresses, this sentiment uh goes and goes and goes and soon the entire world is crazy and twisted it's kind of like wad nohara in that way is that an rpg maker game i think so wad nohara is great too play wad nohara Ugh. but yeah the thing about this game though that uh really makes me love it is that it's it's tragic um the only ends well there's a bunch of endings but basically, the only kinds of endings there are are Russell wakes up in the real world and kills himself, or uh, Russell chooses to live in this sort of dream world forever, in this world in which these people who he destroyed and victimized uh, care for him and love him. And what I love about these endings is that they're bleak, but they have something to say. They're not hopeless. I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of any fiction that exists in order to just kind of instill dread or exists to make you sad for no reason. And I feel like uh might get might get a little little might be setting some pants on fire with this, but uh, I really feel like that is what the witch's house has wrong with it is that the ending is just so bleak. All it does is cement that, you know, <laughs> the witch won, and that the entire time you have been awful, and there is no happiness, and there is no happy ending. And some people love it for that. And I understand why, but I need, or rather, I really want something. I want to take something from my fiction. And Enroll does that, because in the endings in which Russell kills himself, uh, let's just start there. He kills himself. That is Russell coming to terms with this guilt he has. It's him learning empathy through interacting with these people in his dreams. It is because he has come to care about these people as people in some capacity because he's been able to, you know, live their stories and be their friend. And that is that change results in him trying to take responsibility the only way he knows how and killing himself the other thing that's great about this is that 
So, this, what I'm about to say, I guess the validity of it kind of comes into question. And that's, that's throughout the game, uh, you, there's kind of, there isn't really like a, like, dating system or something like that. But there is like an affection building thing, so, so to say. You can choose your party, uh, there's fighting, and you choose a party out of these many characters. And throughout the game, there's different opportunities in which you can bond with one of them. In particular, you know, boy or girl, it's, maybe it's romantic, it's just, you're, you're friends, it's, it's a happy time. And the char the endings, uh, the broad ending of Russell killing himself, that doesn't change. But you can interact with these characters in different ways. And the character that you have interacted with most, uh, you will have a character ending. They will have a specific scene of them. And they all are pretty much the same. And in that, what happens is that Russell sort of comes clean about the nature of the world, about what he did to them, and the characters get it. They get it. They have this epiphany. And of course, this is all literally in his head. So, you know, take from that what you will. But uh, these characters, despite not being real, this is, this is the one caveat with everything I'm saying, is I'm not a big fan of this dream thing in the sense that these aren't really the characters, you know? Or maybe they are. It's it's you, know, you you could you could say some sort of magic-y magic something or other, but that uh, I I'm not a fan. But anyway, these characters they reach a point in which they hate Russell, and that hurts because gosh, uh, whatever character whose character ending you get, you, <laughs> you the reason you have their ending is presumably because you like them a whole lot. Uh, I went for the ending of the twin-tailed green girl whose name I don't remember but uh, I loved her a lot Russell set her and her brother or well locked her and her brother in a church and then set the church on fire yeah that that uh, that's a it's a bad one but uh, I got her ending and I've, I've, I've seen all of the endings and they all pretty much go like this where the character they hate Russell because he killed them uh, pretty viciously mostly but that said they still acknowledge that the time they spent in this dream was real and that russell had the capacity to change and that he is taking responsibility and though they leave you and it is bittersweet it is just as much as uh russell himself shows the capacity for both good and evil and you know the gray morality of how someone can be damaged by the world around them but how that doesn't excuse their actions but how that doesn't make them no one is truly you know wholly good wholly evil and down to these figments of his imagination that remains true where you know they still leave him they tell him this uh, he tells them Russell tells whatever character you're interacting with these things, and they get mad, and they are disgusted. But every second matters, and every face you see of someone is a part of them, and they realize that. And I think that's uh, wonderful. I think it's beautiful. It's a mature thing to say. I'm not a fan explicitly of the fact that he kills himself and that's your ending that is the true ending uh is that he just kills himself and that's that but i love this depiction of morality uh by the end because of these things these people feel very they feel very real <laughs> they feel very conflicted and you know they start off and they look and they are such stupid anime characters but that's not all they are where i think eeb kind of fails to have a real breathable living cast i like eeb gary and i'm gonna call her mary i don't know if that's her name but I'm, I'm gonna call her that uh i like eeb gary and mary right my favorite ending is when eeb sacrifices herself becomes the painting that mary was and uh gary 
goes uh, is reborn in a world with Mary, in which I think they're brother and sister. That's my favorite ending in Eve. And it's because these characters are endearing. But in Endroll, this cast is real. Every character brings that same sort of complexity that Eve had at its best moments. That, like, the battler. The battler. Oh my dear god. Oh. Whew. Whew. I am sick. I'm sick. I'm sick, kids. Uh, the bat. The batter has an off. Every character has that sort of complexity. And it's not happy, but it's not wholly sad. It's depressing, right? But it's showing at the same time that, you know, anyone has the capacity to be good or evil. And that even the worst people, because Russell is a bad person, but even the worst people you can understand. And even the worst people can change and grow. And even the best people can <laughs> do bad things. It is, it is just this wonderful collection of morality. It presents morality in this beautiful way with these beautiful characters, none of which whose names I remember at all, except Russell. I think, they're, I think, the, I think the first girl, the birthday party girl, I think her name's like Gardenia or something. I don't know. I don't know. But this game's great. <coughs> uh, play Enderol. It's Halloween. It's Halloween all day. All day and all night in Breadland. And I really think, legitimately, uh, if it hasn't come through somehow, that Enderol is a special game. Uh, or at least me and my senior year of high school did. For all these reasons. It's beautiful. It's great. Play it. Uh, the reason I made this video is because I googled, I remembered that Enroll existed, right? I was watching a video about something or other, which is ass, something. And, uh, I googled Enroll, and no one's talking about it. Enroll does not have the adoration that Off does, or that Ebe does, or that Madfather does. And that slays me. I don't know how popular Wadden O'Hara is. I think Wadden O'Hara is pretty popular. Probably because it's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure Madfather looks, uh, Madfather, I'm pretty sure Enderol looks pretty nice, but uh, I, don't, I don't remember, that. that's all besides the point. But yeah, these games are beloved, and I think Enderol totally deserves that spot. And the only way, only way, Enderol is going to get the love and it deserves, is if you, uh, you, viewer, go and play it. And not only play it, but uh, draw pictures of it and sing about it and make videos about it and play it and love it because Enderol it kills me. It, it, it really kills me when there is quality, right? It's my whole thesis with the Cocker Project is that these, these stories exist and they're so good. Quality can really be found anywhere, but the world doesn't make it easy all the time. It's not hard, it's, uh, it is hard, rather, to find the Kakarot Project. It is hard to find Enderol. Um, go play it. It's free. I probably should have said that earlier. It's free. Go ahead and Google Enderol and just find it. Uh, so I did it. I don't know where the hell the link is. I don't know. You'll find it. I believe in you. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, play Enderol. It's beautiful. Morality. Uh, the, the, the Momo, real, real video coming soon, I promise. My, the Momo. I am Kisaragi Momo. Duh.